Any substances cause undesirable effect during manufacture or storage of milk or milk products are called contaminants in milk. The number of compounds that can enter milk by contamination is endless. Some of them may be harmful to the consumer because of their potential toxicity or mutagenicity. Now you may be thinking, how contaminants get entry into milk? There are n number of ways for that. Here we will discuss some common chances of contaminants gets entry into milk. First one is illness of the cow. For example, severe mastitis causes blood compounds and somatic cells to enter the milk. Next one, pharmaceuticals that have been administered to the cow. Antibiotics and sulfonamides are widely used to treat mastitis and still be detected in milk 3 or 4 days after they have been administered. Antibiotics in milk may slow down the action of lactic acid bacteria used in the manufacture of fermented products. Several pharmaceuticals can enter the milk through the blood. The most common chance for contaminants to get entry into milk is through feed. Many compounds can gain entrance into milk through the feed, though the cow may act as filter. We will give some examples. Compounds like chlorinated hydrocarbons, PCBs and dioxins which are potentially harmful to the consumers even in extremely low concentrations can enter through the feed. Some of these compounds are toxic or carcinogenic. For instance, in milk from cows which fed large quantities of vegetables sprayed with pesticides. These substances are lipophilic and hence tend to accumulate in the fat. Heavy metals like lead, mercury and cadmium are especially suspect but toxic levels have virtually never been found in milk. Most heavy metals do not gain entrance into milk because the cow acts as a filter, unless extremely high quantities are fed by the cow. Next one is radionuclides. Radioactive isotopes of several elements are always present in milk but in minute quantities. If fed or drinking water contaminated after radioactive fallout is ingested by the cow, part of the radionuclides will be secreted in the milk despite the fact that the cow acts as a filter. Another chance is compounds that may enter the milk during milking and milk handling. Pesticides can also gain entrance into the milk through the air, for example, when aerosols with insecticides are used. Plasticizers from plastic or antioxidants from rubber by the teat cup lining used for milking the cow. Metal ions, especially copper, may cause off flavors via oxidation of fat. Cleaning agents and disinfectants may cause off flavors and decreased activity of starters. Due to this, small quantities of chloroform can be formed. Another contamination is due to substances added on purpose, sometimes disinfectants are added to milk to arrive a low colony count. This is of course, adulteration. Determination of active chlorine may detect such adulteration. So next time if you are drinking milk, remember one thing. If you take care of the cow, you can drink contaminant free milk. Footech360 has launched an online mock test series course exactly as per the syllabus and exam pattern of CFTRA entrance exam. This course contains total of 10 sets of mock tests with well framed questions from each topics. You can attend these mock tests unlimited times from your phone or desktop or laptop. This mock test course is available only in Footech360 Android app, so download the app from the Google Play Store or use the download link given in the description. If you are an Apple or iPhone user, then follow the instructions given in the description to access the app. Full details about the course as given in the video description. You can attend a full length free mock test as sample in our app. We are providing this course at 50% discount for first 500 students joining this course. So download the Footech 360 app and enroll the CFTRA Food Technology Entrance Mock Test Series course for just 199. For further queries, you can contact us through WhatsApp or app chat section. So that's all for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Footech 360. Thank you.